The Charolais breed is most often associated with cattle, but there's also a Charolais breed of sheep, originating from that region in central France, which has been used by UK sheep farmers to achieve maximum growth rates in lambs. Charolais genetics have been incorporated into the Canterbury ram breeding enterprise of Annabelle and Chris Hampton. It's 816 hectares, rolling to steep with about 60 hectares of river flats, which we've got a lot of leucine on. There's a lot of steep gullies here with a lot of broom and gorse and scrub in it. We've got 130 beef cows and 3,000 ewes, of which the predominantly parent ales. There are three sheep studs here, the Suffolk's, the South Suffolk's, and on this property we're running the Suffolk Charolais, which we are slowly grading up to be purebred Charolais. My father started the South Suffolk sheep studs in 1959 and Suffolk's in 70. So in my first wage check, I bought six South Suffolk ewes at a dispersal sale. Just after I came back from Australia, I bought half a Suffolk sheep stud as well. I've also bred pedigree poultry, so I like the genetic side of things. I like breeding animals and things, so that's where it's came through. We've been trying to breed a ram that will produce the lambs required by the meat industry. And we moved down to this property seven and a half years ago now, and we sold up took the dairy farmers' money from Flatland Mid Canterbury Farm to Hill Country Farming. I want to stay farming sheep, and that was the only place where sheep were still being run. If we were to produce rams, we need to be producing rams on the country where they're being required. We were then and we are now specialising in producing commercial meat breed rams for the hill country and we supply a lot of rams into Centro Otago to go over Merinos and also into the Mackenzie to go over Perindale's Merinos and half-breeds. So we want an animal that's easy lambing with very good muscling, good hindquarters. There's no point producing a lamb that he comes out alive but you can't fatten him. 595, she's one of our original ewes. She's, in my opinion, a true example of the Charolais breed. She's got good colour to her head. She's got nice shoulders flowing through with a very good spring of rib. She's got an exceptionally good hindquarter and she moves very well. We're now four years into the purebred operation. We've got 70 odd purebred lambs on the ground. Also, we bought a purebred Charolais ram and we mated him to some Suffolk ewes, and so we've been selling Suffolk Charolais rams, and we're now breeding those animals up to be purebreds. At this stage, the Suffolk is the main part of our stud operation, but the Charolais, as I said before, we've had them for four years. They've only been in the country for five. We're still trying to get our head round the figures at this stage, I think they could end up becoming quite a major part of our stud operation. But we're still early days. I'm trying to get as many out into as many commercial farms as we can because that's, that's where the word of a farmer is a lot better than the word of a stud breeder. We can tell you they're the best and come and buy my rams. But if you can get a commercial farmer say, I've tried them and they are better than anything I've tried, or a lamb drafter saying, I've been buying these lambs and they're, they're grading well. Alliance's via scan and silver ferns is X-ray vision things. They're what the industry wants. That's when dollars start paying, that's what starts making them work. This is a ewe I've got. She's got two lambs on her this year. Last year she had two good ram lambs. I'm going to retain one of her ram lambs this year as a stud sire, and both the ram lambs are in my show team, which we do look after a wee bit better. I like her as a sheep. She holds her head up very well. When she walks, she moves nice and smoothly. She's got length of carcass, and she's got a very well filled out carcass. She's a nice yule all round. That's the sort of sheep we are trying to produce. These rams are our two tooth commercial rams, which we will be selling in December in our on-farm ram sale. And these are what we've been producing commercially farmed. There are Suffolk's and, and South Suffolk's, and then we've got the Charolais Suffolk's, and there's a couple of Paul Dorset Charolais as well. 
The Charolais and the Charolais Suffolk are coming through with an exceptionally good hind quarter and they've got a very, very good, well filled loin and they've got length of loin too, so that's where all the expensive cuts are. So they can produce lambs that can go to the meat works and they can cut all the valuable cuts out of the animal. Normally an animal with a big hind quarter does carry a bit more fat. The Charolais breed and the Charolais Suffolk are very lean. Our Suffolk have still got a better growth rate than the Charolais, but if we put in the Suffolk and the Charolais together, we've got the Suffolk growth rate with the Charolais muscling, and we're still coming through with a dark head, which especially the Merino people can put them over, and there's no complication of being out. They can tell them on the drafting gate at weaning time whether they are a terminal, whether they are Merino or Perindale. <coughs> This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.